sun is set and the night is on when the darkness falls and the light is gone you be my light oh lord and lead me on you be my light oh lord and lead me on when i am growing weak and my steps are slow when the hopes are bleak and i have strength no more you be my strength oh lord and lead me on you be my strength oh lord and lead me on i welcome you all for this holy eucharist and in a very special way we pray for all the intentions of this channel in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever watching, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commandments of your sacred law, upon love of you and of our neighbor. Grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 27 to 34. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, Go and come again. Tomorrow I will give when you can give at once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Your response is, the just one shall live on your holy mountain. The just one shall live on your holy mountain. He who walks blamelessly 
and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart, and slanders not with his tongue. Your response? The just one shall live on your holy mountain. Who harms not his fellow men, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Your response? The just one shall live on your holy mountain. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent? He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Your response? The just one shall live on your holy mountain. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one lights a lamp to cover it with a bowl, or to put it under a bed. No, he puts it on the lampstand so that people may see the light when they come in. For nothing is hidden, but it will be made clear, nothing secret, but it will be known and brought to light. So take care how you hear. For anyone who has will be given more. From anyone who has not, even what he thinks he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Luke eight sixteen. No one lights a lamp to hide it under a bowl. A light is lit to illuminate. Yes, my brothers and sisters, as light illuminates the darkness, so also the light of Christ that we have received at our baptism illuminates our life. It helps us to be aware of what we are. It helps us to know whether we are living the life that the Lord has shown us. It illuminates when we, by our way of life, by our sacrifice, by our love, by our forgiveness, by our caring and by our kindness, we reach out to others. Our light, that we are the light that we have received from Christ, illuminates the darkness within us and spreads the love and the light of Christ around us. The Word of God exposes. Luke eight seventeen, whatever is spoken or whatever is kept in secret will be exposed, brought to light. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 25 on the last day, the last judgment, we all will be judged according to our way of life. The good will be rewarded and the bad will be punished. Therefore this reminds us that we need to live or walk the way that the Lord has shown us. One day we will be exposed. And the third, the word of God enlightens. Luke 8, 18 My dear brothers and sisters, whoever has will receive more. The light of Christ enlightens us. 
God through his spirit gives us the grace to know him and by knowing him we become more conscious and aware of God's presence in within us and all around us the knowledge that we received increases our faith and helps us to spread Christ by our way of life the enlightenment that we receive from Christ should be used to bring many more closer to Christ by our, by our way of life therefore my brothers and sisters let us pray to the lord to give us this awareness this realization that we may always be conscious that we have received the light of Christ whenever we go away from this light we walk in darkness and this darkness will destroy us so let us ask the lord to give us the grace to come back to him and to walk with him in his light so that we may be lamps to our brothers and sisters in our family in our communities and in large our society amen we offer you o lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar lord today make them worthy of your love send your blessings from above sanctify these gifts o lord we pray o take our hearts take our minds take all we have make them thine o lord take all we have make them thine we offer you o lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar lord today my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church receive with favor o lord we pray the offerings of your people that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy. 
worthy Yet you come to live in me So speak your word of comfort By your touch strengthen and heal me Take this and eat my body And drink my saving blood Pour out for your redemption a symbol of my love Oh Lord, I am not worthy <coughs> Yet you come to live in me So speak your word of comfort By your touch, strengthen and heal me I am the good shepherd, says the Lord I know my sheep and mine know me. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Mary crowned with living night, holy temple of the Lord. So.